The following safety equipment is required. Personal protective equipment. A protective jacket. Gloves. Safety glasses. A personal gas detector suitable for hydrocarbons. A carbon dioxide or dry powder fire extinguisher. You need to be aware of any sources of ignition, such as electrical switches, unprotected electrical equipment, lighters and sparks from drop tools. It's very important that you don't smoke in or near the work area. Hydrocarbon refrigerants have a higher flammability than CFCs HCFCs and HFCs. So safety issues need to be carefully considered and evaluated. Retrofitting to hydrocarbons can pose significant flammability safety hazards. Hydrocarbons are not recommended for systems that have not been specifically designed for them. Hydrocarbons are denser than air and will flow downwards. They can collect on the floor, especially in a confined space. Hydrocarbon refrigerants are odorless and their presence cannot be detected by smell. A manifold gauge set suitable for flammable refrigerants. An electronic manifold gauge set, again suitable for flammable refrigerants. A body-worn hydrocarbon leak detector. A refrigerant recovery machine for hydrocarbons. A spark-proof fan used for ventilating the area when handling flammable refrigerants and a refrigerant gas detector and sample calibration leak for hydrocarbon refrigerants. Ensure that the leak detector is calibrated before use. For details on general equipment, see the first film in this series or the basic tools video on the Ozone Action Rack video application or on our YouTube channel.
When transporting refrigerant cylinders, they should be secured to prevent any movement. A frame fitted to the vehicle is ideal. And ratchet straps are used to secure the cylinders in place. Ensure the cylinders are removed and carried correctly. Cylinders should be stored in an appropriate and dedicated storage area. with adequate ventilation and appropriate warning signs. Cylinders must be secured in suitable containers. Ratchet straps are used to secure the cylinders in place. Check that the cylinders are securely fastened. On the left side of the screen is an HFC refrigeration system and on the right is a hydrocarbon refrigeration system using R290. Note that for the HFC system, the electrical parts are not fully isolated. And it has brazed connections. The hydrocarbon refrigeration system includes sealed and isolated electrical connections. It has a leak-proof construction and it's fully earthed to avoid sparks. Remove all sources of ignition and sparks. including mobile phones. Remove electrical equipment that is not specifically designed for flammable refrigerants. And tidy the workplace to avoid the possibility of sparks from falling tools. Prepare the work area and the appropriate tools.
ensure that the correct personal protective equipment is worn. Ensure that the correct fire extinguishing equipment is at hand. Ensure adequate ventilation. Check your personal safety equipment. When recovering refrigerant, turn off the refrigerant system. The manifold gauge must be suitable for use with flammable refrigerants. Connect the manifold gauge set and connect it to the recovery unit. Make sure to use a filter dryer. Connect to a suitable recovery cylinder and connect to the vacuum pump and switch it on. Wait until all the air has been removed and then switch off the vacuum pump. Open the valves on the unit, the gauge and the cylinder. Switch the recovery unit on. Once all the refrigerant has been removed, turn off the unit, disconnect it and remove the hoses.
connect the nitrogen cylinder to the unit. Flush several times to ensure all the refrigerant is removed. Once any repairs have been done, perform the usual procedures prior to charging. In the case of a flammable refrigerant leak, quickly switch off the refrigeration equipment. Ensure the work area is well ventilated. Be careful to avoid sparks and do not switch lights on or off. Avoid all sources of ignition. Monitor the presence of the flammable gas. Wait until it is safe to return to the work area. If you cannot prevent further leakage, follow local emergency procedures and call the fire authority.